Hello there. An official declaration has been made by the UK today that there will be no extension to the Brexit implementation period. Q, much remainer, or should I say rejoiner, sobbing. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost and I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back daily. Well, there you have it. Since making a video this morning on how the sands seem to be shifting in our favour, we now have the official last word on a Brexit extension. And that word is no, there will not be an extension to the Brexit implementation period. In a tweet, the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster and Cabinet Minister, Michael Gove, said, I just chaired a constructive EU Joint Committee meeting with Maros Sefcovic. I formally confirm the UK will not extend the transition period and the moment for an extension has now passed. On the 1st of January 2021, we will take back control and regain our political and economic independence. Now, Maris Sefcovic is the EU Commission's Vice President for Inter-Institutional Relations and Foresight. And both he and Michael Gove are the co-chairs of the Joint Committee that is overseeing these negotiations. And it is only this committee that can agree to an extension, as a joint decision. But as Gove is constrained by UK law, he can't agree to one, not even if he wanted an extension. Now, there had always been a sneaking suspicion amongst Brexiteers and a hope by Remainers that an extension would somehow arise that locked us back into the EU for another couple of years. But that fear, or hope, depending on which side you're on, has finally been laid to rest. This has now been backed up with a Cabinet Office statement about post-Brexit transition border policy that says... New border controls and procedures confirmed for 2021 as the Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, Michael Gove, formally notifies the EU that the UK will neither accept nor seek any extension to the transition period. And also that the announcement follows this morning's meeting of the Withdrawal Agreement Joint Committee, the last formal moment to agree an extension to the transition period, at which the government confirmed the long-standing position that no such extension would be sought. Apart from this announcement, the statement contained details about a staged approach to border controls to ease business through the pandemic and into our independence from the European Union with the statement saying, Border controls for EU goods imported into Great Britain will be introduced at the end of the transition period in stages to give businesses affected by coronavirus more time to prepare. And Michael Gove said, We have informed the EU today that we will not extend the transition period. The moment for extension has now passed. At the end of this year, we will control our own laws and borders, which is why we are able to take the sovereign decision to introduce arrangements in a way that gives businesses impacted by coronavirus time to adjust. And that's the whole point. The UK will, after the 31st of December, have the full power to quickly and efficiently help business, and hence the people, through this stage of national rebirth. Gove also said, Today's announcement is an important step towards getting the country ready for the end of the transition period, but there is still more work to be done by both government and industry to ensure we are ready to seize the opportunities of being a fully independent United Kingdom. And the phased border measures being put in place have been well received, with Elizabeth de Jong, Policy Director at the Freight Transport Association, saying... The logistics industry is extremely grateful for the measures announced by the UK government to stage the introduction of new trading arrangements between the EU and UK in the first six months after the transition period. They have listened to our concerns and made allowances to enable our sector to recover from the COVID-19 pandemic 
and plan effectively so that we can continue to trade effectively with Europe. And the chief executive of the Road Haulage Association, Richard Burnett, said, This is very welcome news and we are pleased the government has taken a sensible and pragmatic approach to the problem after listening to stakeholders such as the RHA. This is it, folks. It's the final countdown. 202 days until our final deliverance from EU control and... Party time! Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about all of this? Please share and comment and... Thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.